here and welcome back to today's video i know this is a very weird angle i'm not in love with this angle but since you guys can see in the background there's no furniture i can't really sit you guys anywhere else to do my new year's eve makeup in today's video i will be doing a get ready with me for new year's eve um by the time you guys see this video it will be long past new year's eve but this is still a video you can watch if you just need makeup inspiration for like any event you're going to but this is like my first new year's eve where i'm like really doing something like all the past new year's eve i was either too young to do anything i was working or covid so i never really did anything for new year's eve today's new year's eve is gonna be very calm i feel like um i'm going over my friend gina's house in jersey um we're gonna eat drink a bit and play some card games and just have a good time i'm also gonna sleep over there so i have a bag that i pack i have to finish packing but um my new year's eve outfit is very like chill since i'm not really going to a club or anything like that so i'm gonna show you guys my outfit later but first we have to do makeup and then hair I know my hair is looking crazy. These braids need to be taken out. I'm about to get into my makeup. I'm going to talk a little bit and then we're going to jump into like a, what do you call it? Into like a, me just doing my makeup while you guys listen to that music I'll be playing in the background. I have two makeup bags that I have to use. I think I'm going to go with a pink and silver look tonight. Since my outfit is black and white, I want to pop a little color into it. I might take my pink bag with me, but like I'm carrying a white bag because you know. Okay, so I already put um, cream on my face to moisturize and I'm also going to be putting on the Milk Hydro Primer. I said in the last, um, if I'm looking here, I'm looking at my mirror that's literally right in front of me. Um, I forgot to mention in my last vlog like how I felt about the primer. And guys, like you might not believe me, but I definitely notice a difference. I love this primer. I definitely think it's worth the 30, I think it was like 32, 36 around that. It's definitely worth that price. I try to put it more around my under eye area because that's where my concealer is at. And I don't really put much on my forehead. Like, I mean, I put some but nothing crazy i'm so excited for the new year i'm so excited to see what the new year brings i wouldn't say this 2021 was like challenging like mentally challenging for me i definitely think that 2020 2020 was definitely the year that like i mentally was like not okay and i wasn't doing the best i feel like i feel like 2020 a lot of shit was going on with the pandemic and then that not helping with my mental health but i feel like that was a lot of people 2020 wasn't really anyone's year and i feel like 2021 even though we still um we're in a pandemic even though technically this we're still in a pandemic i don't know if you consider a still be in a pandemic i feel like 2021 was a year of growth and happiness definitely i feel like i learned myself and i figured out what i wanted i always tell people this that i figured out what i wanted out of life out of people what i'm passionate about i always knew what i was passionate about but i feel like i'm working 10 times harder with it or like 10 times harder to achieve my goals and stuff my goals for 2021 would definitely be to just grow bigger on youtube um get better at editing um definitely just expand like my family youtube family i just learned a lot about myself this year and i'm like way more happier than i was before and i feel like that's because i figured out what kind of people need to be in my life and i'm learning that it's okay to put yourself first and be selfish sometimes like I am one of those people that like I always put other people's feelings and like their thoughts or opinions before my own and I think that is a major reason why I was struggling a lot mentally and I wasn't as confident in myself like 
not like appearance wise because I always thought I was pretty and like I was confident within like the way I looked but like the way I thought and thought about certain things I wasn't always so confident about and I feel like 2021 it just like really made me you know mature and I feel like I grew a lot but like this year was a fun year like it was definitely a year where I met new people I met a lot of people I met the people that I care about and I love I love that I experienced so much going to college especially in a different um, district I'm gonna call it a district because Washington DC is not a state but go living in a whole different area than like where I used to is definitely a different experience I just love DC like yes it's very different from Staten Island it's a lot more noisier and a lot more shit pops off in DC but like and it's very city-ish and even though I live in New York like I don't live in the city I live in the suburbs I feel like I tell you guys this all the time so like the fact that I'm just like happy that I get to live in a different area and I feel like I always was meant to live in a busier area like that because that's where I feel most productive like whenever I'm back home I don't feel very productive compared to being in DC like I feel very productive I just feel like because it's always so much going on it's like go 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 like I'm staring at myself in the mirror while like um trying to talk to you guys but I don't know it's just something about DC like would I would I want to live there permanently like grow up start a family everything there no absolutely not I would never want to live in D I mean I would live in DC for a little bit while I'm in college like I would get my own apartment there but to like settle down and shit like I probably want to do that I'm trying to be like as full coverage as possible because like I'm trying to take pictures and I don't want to really wear foundation today so I wanna you know I definitely want to get this in like a shade lighter like next time I buy this because I feel like I'm gonna go look a shade lighter you guys are probably like no girl if you go a shade lighter you're gonna look fucking crazy but I just like when my concealer is like really light and like because my foundation is already like kind of dark so I feel like it balances it out like if you know what I mean this is not the right brush I usually use to carve out my eyebrows but I can't find it um all right and I just use a different concealer because that concealer is kind of pricey. So I use my Wet n Wild. And I think they changed the formula for this Wet n Wild concealer because it's so watery now. Like I used to be able to get away with using this under my eyes and it wouldn't look that bad. Like I used to, I used this for years until I switched to the Too Faced concealer, which is so good. I'm not going to change it. I'm probably going to wear it for a long time because it's so full coverage and I freaking love it but this now I can only use for my eyebrows like I can't use it if I want to like you know cover up anything saw somewhere that it's better to like blend out your um concealer with like a, a brush and then use a a beauty blender but i don't even have the right brush i think i i mean in my christmas video i got like a whole like brush kit so i think i could use those but like other than that i don't think i have a brush but like i definitely want to try that out because people say that it comes out smoother and it looks better I don't know if my eyebrows are even like my mirror is so far away like you guys can't tell because you guys are like up close and personal but like I literally can't see shit this is so much easier than blending out with a beauty blender I'm gonna go in with this sponge this is like an elf sponge I usually use for my concealer I like to blend out my concealer um first on my eyes and then so on my on my eyes first and then set set it and then blend out at my bottom at like under my eye because like I like to put setting powder like on top of my eyelids so like the eyeshadow can pop more 
but I use like a different setting powder like I don't use the same setting powder that I use under my eyes like on my eyelids actually but that's just a perf a personal preference like not everyone does this but I just think that the setting powder that I use on top of my eyes is like a lot more white than like and ghost looking than um the setting powder I use under my eye and I don't want to get like what is that called like lash like you know what I'm talking about Flashback Mary. Hi, sisters! Ah! I think the main goals I'm just focusing on in 2022 is definitely um, creating a lot more content, um, staying focused on YouTube, school, of course, school is always, always, always first. I think another thing I need to focus on this year, this is what I'm using. I'm using Airspun because the Airspun color I got is like not good for like under eye because it's too fucking white so i'll just put it here anyway like i was saying i think another thing i want to focus on in 2022 is just being you know like focus more on like not how do i word this i'm trying to figure out how to word this i think i'm going to focus more on myself this year like obviously i'm going to be you know still hanging out with my friends um but like when i mean or like even i'm not saying i'm looking for a relationship but like i don't want you guys to be like oh you said you're focusing on yourself and then you're like in a relationship that's not what i mean by that i mean like i need to focus more on like the important shit in my life like i want to look for a job i need to start focusing on um saving money because i want to save money for who the fuck is that i want to save money for certain things and there's just a lot of shit I want to do and I feel like I need to and I feel like 2021 like oh my God, 2021 I was out and about especially with college I'm out every weekend I'm partying I'm doing this and that and yeah that's fun but I feel like this spring semester like I'm still gonna be out enjoying myself but I'm gonna limit myself like I don't need to go out every weekend I don't need to hit up every club like it's okay like it starts to become the same after a while you know what i mean let me blend out this concealer even though it's good to let your concealer sit for a bit i'm getting ready like mad early it's like only i think it's only like four o'clock or no it's like 4 30 i think it's 4 30 and i'm not so i'm supposed to be ready no it's actually 4 45 i'm sorry that someone keeps texting me i don't know who it is but it's 4 45 and i don't have to be ready until like um 7 30 so i have more than enough time but i usually give myself two hours to get ready and then um who is texting me it's my family group chat they're ordering apple bees <laughs> i'm so excited i have to eat anyway because i'm not trying to get sick when i'm drinking but <laughs> let me finish out my concealer and then i'll finish with my story whatever i'm talking about okay so i put my powder on and i have to make sure i set my brows after but i like i said i'm gonna do like a pink and silver look so i'm gonna use the you're so money baby the kylie jenner palette this palette is dirty i mean i don't really use this palette that much because i don't really like the texture of like the shadow but i don't know like it's very hard to pick up on i don't even know if you guys can see i'm going in with work work for it but I only use it sometimes. Um, the shimmers are like okay, but I think the shimmers are the only thing I really don't like about the palette. But like, like you know, the ve the matte colors are fine. Like they don't bother me because it's just very ashy. I feel like, but that's besides the point. I don't even know what I was talking about, guys. I hate when I can't finish my thought or like remember what i was talking about um i want to know what your guys new year's revolution is um something different like i always hear like the, i mean mine are kind of basic too like working out and like you know making more money but like if you have like some things that like not a lot of people say or talk about then like i want to know about it because that might be something that i want to work on and i never thought about it but 
I don't know, I'm really excited for this new year and I'm excited to start the spring semester. I'm excited for my birthday, guys. Like, I keep talking about my birthday even though it's four months away. I'm like really looking forward to it. You guys just like don't understand. Like, I have like a whole theme that I'm planning on doing. I just hope you guys have a great year and you stay blessed, you stay healthy. And yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna use this mirror because it's just easier. I thought Kylie Palace didn't come with a mirror for some reason, but it's okay. I'm glad this one does because like I said, I'm very like low on supplies right now because of my moving. I'm so excited for my moving. I am filming the process of me moving. It might not be like as in detail and as in depth because I am in college like I said so most of the time like when I am moving in I probably my room will kind of be somewhat set up already I'm sorry my neck hurts my room will somewhat be set up because my mom is gonna set up for college and stuff but I'm still gonna show you guys like me packing and me like putting my own fish in touch something too I want to work on I want to work on like eating more I feel like eating once a day is like not cutting it like girl I plan on doing like a a girl talk video where I'm gonna get more in depth with personal shit and like just a whole bunch of stuff. I'm really excited for that video. I'm probably gonna do that video while taking out my braids. So it'll probably be this video. Actually, no, I'm lying. It'll probably be after the next video I'm filming because I'm filming a uh, rate my outfits. I have to film. That's what I'm saying. That's why I'm getting ready early. I think that's what I was trying to finish off on. I was getting ready early. Well, I am getting ready early because I have to film a video, I have to do TikToks, and I have to do some reels. But I feel like I told you guys this already. I don't know, maybe I'm repeating myself, I'm sorry, I don't know. But yeah, um, I'm gonna finish out this makeup look and you guys are gonna watch me. I'm just talking your guys' heads off at this point. So we're gonna finish off this makeup look and yeah. I 
can see us holding hands, walking on the beach, our toes in the sand. I can see us on the countryside, sitting on the grass, side by side. You could be my baby, let me make you my lady. Girl, you amaze me, ain't gotta do nothing crazy. See, all I want you to do is be my love. So don't give away 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 my love. So don't give Okay guys, so this is the outfit. I actually really like this outfit. Um, the jacket is from Forever 21. The sweatshirt is from Pretty Little Thing. My jeans, I think they're like the coolest part about the outfit, are from Shein. And then I just have white Air Forces on. And I'm gonna wear my white Shein bag with these black shades. I'm gonna be wearing these when I take my picture. This pretty much is the look for tonight. Very simple, very chill, it's very cute. Um, I didn't even plan for these two things to go together. They just kind of do and they work. I will see you guys when I get there. Oh, I gotta put hoops on. Guys, Betty White passed away today, so we're taking a shot for her. Yes. Oh, oh, sorry. I was I was vlogging. <laughs> I, I, was, I was vlogging. Everybody, this shot is for our beloved Betty White. Yes. Happy birthday. <gasps> Thank you. Oh, you even spilled it. I know. 
Where's the clothes? Someone, someone. Well, what she say? No, where, where she marries him. But oh my God. Okay, I have a chance to win. Okay. Hold on. Fuck your life! Bing bong! If you see these dogs in your front yard, huh, just know upstairs I'm going hard. Bing bong! What do you want to tell Joe Byron right now? What's up, baby? Take me out the day. Hey, yo! Hey, yo, Ariana Grande, what's up, mama? I'll come to Coney Island and take a spin on a cyclone. I miss you. Well, guys, today's the next day. Um, I got back home. I have my makeup off comfortable and i forgot to do an outro for this little get ready with me slash vlog i guess thank you guys so much for watching today's video if you're new to the channel make sure you like comment and subscribe hit that bell to be notified when i post new videos i love you guys and i'll see you guys in the next video bye guys i get those goosebumps every time i need the high throw that to the